Um, Nam Ganza Stella. I'm a comprehensive nurse. I'm registered and I'm a midwife. And I'm going to demonstrate how to make local parts because oftentimes girls who are just getting into the adolescent stage have so many problems because when they get into this period called menstruation, they cannot afford to buy pads, therefore they fail to even go to school because the pads are expensive or they are uncomfortable or something. But we can, we can also try to learn how to make these local pads at home at a very cheap, affordable price. And this is a sample of a local pad. Um, it has a, this local pad is made in such a way that it has wings and it has a button where you can tie where you can button such that the pad is firm inside. These are the wings of the pad. It's a cloth. It has a, a piece of polythene inside and then cotton on top as I'll be showing you how to do it when we proceed. To make a local pad, these are some of the things that we need. We need a piece of hard paper. We need a pair of scissors. We need threads. We need a marker. If you don't have a marker, you can use a pen. We need buttons. We need, need a needle. We need the knicker there, of course. We need a piece of cotton thick, a thick cotton piece of cloth. We also need something like a polythene paper. Normally, the ones that are best are those ones which are used mostly in maternity, the ones that they send mothers to bring when they are going to labor because they are, they are really tough and they can they are the ones that we, we, would, we would use as best quality that you can cut out of books, make shapes like this and then put it on a cavera you trace out its margins using a pen or a marker whatever is available for you and then after you've pressed out the margins you can also get the piece of cloth and put this paper there and still trace out the margins on the piece of cloth because this is the shape of a normal pad after, after tracing out the margins, you get a pair of scissors and you cut around the margins. and two or more pieces of of cotton cloth the thicker the better if you want like three or four you can cut either way it works we, since we know that um, our pads need to have wings we shall have to trace out still this shape on the cloth and this is how we do it so we now cut out this piece we trace it on the piece of cloth, its margins, because these are the wings. And um, here is where we shall put the what? Our buttons and then the hole for the what? For the buttons. So this is what we do. Then, you 
drop where you're going to put your buttons on the wings because these are the wings of the what? Of the pad. The use of this is to hold the pad far in the knicker. After you've drawn, you get a pair of scissors and then you begin cutting through the margins of this picture that you've drawn. Try to make very smart margins. So now, okay. So you get a pair of scissors and you cut where you're going to put your button. A very small. That will depend on the size of the button you want, you want to use, but preferably a small one for compatibility. Then you come up with such, then you come out with such a figure. These are going to be our wings. This is where the button is going to enter from, and this is the button. In the end, we are going to have something like, we are going to be buttoning them from behind the pant. After you've done that, you bring your three pieces, one piece of cavera and the two pieces of cotton cloth. If you want a thicker pad, you can use like five pieces. Then you put them together. Put it, you first put the two or three or four pieces of cloth that you want down and then on top you put the cavera piece and then you get a needle and a thread you begin making stitches or sewing or rather knitting You can make a knot just behind your work, your stitch.
go back. Uh, when you reach this point, as you're about to make a turn, after you've like, made stitches all around and you're about to reach the starting point, you unfold this part. Since we want this polythene bit to be in the middle of these, la these white layers, you unfold it, you first cut the thread, you cut the thread, you unfold such that this this cover material is in the middle of these two cotton cloth materials. This is how you do it. Because we can't put a cover on top or behind, this cover acts like a proof. So now the cover is in between the two pieces of cloth. You get your needle and thread back and then you close. by making stitches around. In the end you come up with something like this. You pick a button and you put on this other wing that we had talked about already, where the point where you put a circle, you get a button and you put there and then you begin sewing. So you attach the button to this side of the wing to make it firm. When you feel the button is really firm on the pad, you can always do this, make a, tat, make a note of your stitch like we do when we are finishing this stitch and then cut. After you finish to make your two pieces, you get your knicker or panty and put it like this. You get this piece of the pad and put it on the knicker like this. You get this, this other piece of the pad and you still put it on top of the first one. Then after, hold your knicker like this. And then, since our pad has wings, we shall just have to button such that when someone puts on this pad, it is firm. This thing, this, this other last piece was just to hold the pad firm in the knicker 
such that if someone is in their peace, it's okay for them to go and play like any other ones. Now, at this stage, you have your homemade pad, which is really comfortable and cheap.